all right so in the previous session uh, we talked about uh, single level approval in this session we are going to talk about the cascading approval cascading approval means that when you need more than one approval and often conditionally often conditionally means that it will probably depend on uh, the case data right so that how many approvals you are going to ultimately see but <clears throat> what are the options that we have in the cascading approval all right let's just talk about that the first thing that you have in this cascading approval is called reporting structure that the name correct yeah reporting structure and the second one is authority matrix So reporting structure means that the approval <coughs> and label are dependent on or uh, basically are based on the reporting structure in your organization and it often depends on the submitters reporting manager and their managers manager and things like that okay so when we seek approval based on the reporting structure so for example it's very commonly implemented in the organization when you implement any when you uh, apply for any uh, claims claims usually uh, follow that kind of structure where you submit it it goes to your manager um, it might go to your manager's manager it might go to even a step further as well up to a few labels right so that's where we do that's what uh, basically we configure using reporting manager structure but it's not always the individual reporting structure sometime it could be the team reporting structure as well the team manager the team managers manager right so when you do cascading based on the reporting structure the first one and you have two options either team the work group manager so whatever work group you belongs to that's where it is going to go or your reporting manager i'm going to get going with the reporting manager and then it says how many level are you going to get one level that means just your manager all label until there is a manager so manager managers manager and their manager and their manager until pega finds a manager on the operator custom is when we define okay based on some condition this label if the salary is less than 10000 two label if salary is less than 50 uh, greater than 50000 one label if salary is greater uh, less than 2000 three label things like that so this is the dynamic this is the conditional i'm going to test it all the first thing is going to be the reporting manager approval label 1 so now if i create a case I need to have a manager for sure and I think we did configure that in the last session let's just check that out yeah so this one has manager the R1 also probably has a manager no it doesn't have so let me put R2 manager of R1 and then R2, R2 has manager, let me put that R3. And then R3 has manager, let me put that to myself again. Okay. So we have three four level of manager setup anyway when i'm going to submit the application at the moment the approval level is one actually there is one problem sorry i have done something that will create circle right r4 r3 is reporting back to me and that means then it will 
trigger a circle. So I will remove the manager on R3. Okay. All right. So I'm going to submit this case. It will go to my manager for approval. Which is R1. And that is absolutely fine. Second level is second I'm going to put all. All means it is going to go there until it finds a manager up to R3. R3 will not have any manager, so that's where it will stop. Let me show you. R1 is the first. The R1 approves. It goes to R2. R2 approves. It goes to R3. Remember, R3 does not have any manager. R3 does not have. So it will stop right here. And then it will move to the next step. Or next stage so that's about um, that's about the all then we have custom in the custom okay so there is something called when rule when rule are predefined conditions basically where we check something certain condition and it returns true or false you need a when rule here okay so I'm going to put one con uh, salary I'm creating a window salary less than 2 2k when the salary is less than 2k let's create a when rule salary less than 2k this is a when rule okay this should be true when salary is less than 2000 You need to configure that you can select the salary from here in drop down way but in the employment you will have salary annual salary is less than or equal to 2000 that's the first condition then by the way you can configure the same thing on the advanced as well on the advanced tab it will you will be able to specify dot property dot something like that okay let me save as this for 5000 as well less than 5k less than equal to actually less than equal to 5k then this is 5k and then i'm going to have another one greater than greater than 5k if it is more than 5k then we will have different so it is greater than <coughs> 5k now here I'm going to specify when salary is less than 2k then one label when salary is less than or equal to 5k then two label when salary is greater than 5k then three label okay that's the condition save it creating a case where I will put salary um, 3000 now 3000 is greater than 2k but less than 5k so this is going to be in two category this one is going to be true less than equal to oh sorry I have configured less than equal to 3 yeah, so this one is going to be two. It's not going to be true. This one is going to be two. It's three label. Let's see. This is a label one. 
approve use the label to approve and this is label 3 done when i put when i create a case with salary 6000 that's going to be second case true so greater than so that is going to be two label This is label one, approve. This is label two, approve. When you put it thousand, that's label one. That's it. What happens if you reject in between? If one of the approvers rejects the case, this is the approval level one, and this rejects the case. Case doesn't move any further, it actually gets rejected. So if any one of them rejects, the case gets rejected. No further approval will be sought. Similarly, it works for the work group as well. So operator, which work group do I belong to? I belong to default work group, who is the manager of this? Administrator. So this is who it is going to be assigned to. Let me change the manager of this. Uh, R3 or maybe R2 so when you configure it to work group and I'm going to configure it to all and when I create a case It goes to R2, that's the manager of my work group. When I approve, when R2 approves, it goes to one second. Who is the manager of R2? Reviewer work basket. The manager of the reviewer work basket is R2's team's manager is myself so it returned back to me actually so that's fine but you understand it will always seek the users teams manager not the user whoever last did the step all right so this is um, this is basically your reporting structure approval The next thing that we have is authority matrix and in order to learn authority matrix you learn you need to learn a few new rules especially the decision table and how to create page list property so i'll keep this one in a separate session in this session we will limit our uh, basically knowledge or our demo to reporting structure where we did reporting manager and we did the uh, work group manager and we tried one label we tried all label and we tried custom use custom label using when rules right, let's take this one in the next session